Good morning and welcome to the CBS 19 This Morning Update. I'm Clint Yates. And I'm Dana Huey. Topping our news right now, two Tyler men are in custody this morning after a shooting that injured a woman. It happened in the 1000 block of North Bodark around 9 last night. Tyler police say the victims Monica Christian and Niambi Hunter were involved in a disturbance with 20-year-old Tony Anthony Trailer Jr. and 19-year-old James Marvin Clark. Investigators say Trailer fired into a car, hitting Christian in the arm. She and Hunter were both injured by the flying glass. They were both treated at a local hospital. Trailer is in jail this morning on aggravated assault and possession of a controlled substance charges. Clark is only charged with possession of a controlled substance. Do you remember the old saying, red on yellow, kill a fellow, and red on black, then on black? Well, now that the weather is warming up, snakes are getting more active. In addition to copperheads, if you and your family are playing outdoors, you should watch out for coral snakes, water moccasins, and the occasional rattlesnake. The copperheads, it takes a while for it to swell up in most cases, but occasionally the snake will get a, a pretty good venom shot. It happens to hit in the veins, and then it starts to swell even more. Okay, so when that happens, what you want to do is keep your hand elevated. It. Don't suck on the uh, wound. And don't forget about your furry friends. Dogs tend to get bit on the face and neck, and cats tend to be bitten on their front legs. Well, ahead of the Tyler Run for Autism this Saturday, we want, to know, want you to know about an effective treatment option for autistic kids. Before 2009, you couldn't find applied behavior analysis or ABA therapy in Smith County. The Treatment and Learning Center for Children with Autism started offering it in Tyler and now has 16 clients. It's a structured scientific approach to changing bad habits and behaviors. A lot of those problem behaviors come from, I don't have any communication. I don't know how to ask for what I want, so I start doing these other things that are going to get me what I want. Now for more information on the Tyler Run for Autism and ABA therapy, visit CBS19.tv. Let's get to Scott Fossey as our forecast. Your CBS 19 East Texas Tuesday weather forecast as we walk throughout the day today. We're expecting variably to mostly cloudy skies with temperatures by lunchtime today, hovering in the upper 70s as we walk throughout the afternoon. Again, mostly cloudy conditions with temperatures soaring to highs today, unseasonably warm for this time of the year between about 83 and 85 degrees. As we go into the overnight hours tonight, cloudy skies. We look out to the west, storms fire near Dallas Fort Worth overnight tonight. Here in the East Texas area tonight, about a 30% chance for rain and storms as this line continues to progress into the East Texas area early tomorrow morning. We'll call for a 70 to 80% chance for rain at least the first half of the day on Wednesday as a cold front moves through. Your highs early in the day near 70 with temperatures dropping off into the lower 60s by your drive home tomorrow evening all the way down to 43 as skies clear out early Thursday morning. Highs Thursday noticeably cooler only near 62 degrees. All right, thank you, Scott. Hope you have a great day.